say. I know that the internet is going to be buzzing <laughs> later. Call the dirt sheets. Let's go up to uh, Mrs. Spectacular, AJ Pan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the parts of the evening I've been looking forward to. If we can bring out right now Johnny Knockouts. He's like a change back. Look at him. He has he's he's swinging back. Boy is green. Yeah, libido running wild. Well, here's some jobber that we fired. Jumped the guardrail. Hey. Made a big stink. Best pissed girl. and moaned. And after the last show, we threatened to press charges if he didn't come here. Publicly apologized and promised to never, ever set foot in an FWE ring again. And honestly, good riddance. Get this guy out of here. This better be 60 seconds just to make our lawyers happy and end this. But he seems to be in decent shape. Well, he's got nothing else to do. He's not working anywhere. Johnny Knockout. Controversy abounding over him. Oh, he gave you a bit of a mean knob there, Jordan. That was no love at all. <sighs> wow. He's not a bad looking man. Let's just say that. He's not a bad looking man. He's so still who? a scumbag. <laughs> Present company accepted, of course. Who's the best looking man in FWE? I want to know your opinion. Oh. Goodness. I know, it's me. Prison uh, company excluded. Who's the best well, looking man I in can't, FWA? I can't think of it. It's Comrade Chow. <laughs> this has got to be Comrade. Best looking man you can't fit in a lunchbox. Big Daddy V. <laughs> Couldn't even fit, fit, fit him in an SUV. You're here for one reason and one reason only, pal. All right, let's give this guy 60 seconds to get this over with. Go. I want to hear this. What are you, my mother? Believe me, I'd love to, but uh, I'm actually legally obligated to be here. I'm sure many of you guys know I am in the ring right now. And uh, well, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I heard it now over there. Thank you very much. So are you. Your parents raised you right. Um, for those that don't know why I'm in the middle of the ring right now, and not in wrestling gear, which I'd love to be. It is literally taking me everything to not jump up at this table and just punch him in the face. That would be very bad idea. February, I was supposed to be in a tribal championship match against a certain individual. And, uh, actually, they do care. That's why I'm here. Yeah. So be quiet before I fart in the face. Yeah, that's why we fired him, because he's such a classy, nice guy. I was going to step away from the company because I got a little too crazy in the back. And uh, I don't know, last time I checked, this is uh, wrestling. Um, I think it's supposed to be pretty aggressive, right? Long story short, I did not like that. I sat at home for a couple of months, I thought about it, and I said, I said to myself, self, oh my God. something needs to be done. And Boys, you want to go grab a beer? So yeah, let's go get a beer and a hot dog. To come in for the WWE's events, and ruined much every in that opportunity hair. that that guy had that he sold that belt. Deep fry a meal. It's just better because you don't have long, wavy, beautiful. I'm just kidding. Just a lot. I'm just kidding. What color was your hair? It was no. dark brown. <laughs> Mini moon. I know, right? Learn Actually, something new every day. Aside from the fact that I couldn't really eat much, I did beat up two guys, so that was fun. It was a good night. But uh, that's not... That's not the way you go about things in life. I realized that, and I was hitting something. Wow, he had a realization. I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. You look like Al Pacino, by the way. <laughs> yep, Sesame Street in England, right? Yeah. So, I came in, wasn't supposed to be here, beat up this low life, and uh, gave him something in return that I felt... But that you didn't have the Wombles here in America. I felt deep down was right. You have the Wombles. And uh, I got in trouble for it, legally. So I'm here tonight, I'm really glad to be in the ring. What is he babbling about? Uh, who cares? No, I mean, you know, he showed up at the shows and jumped the guardrail like an idiot, and now he has to apologize in order for us to not put him in jail. You know, sarcasm. And never show up again. I don't know what you two about anger. AJ Payne's having some smack talk here. I, I honestly have not heard the word I apologize, mm. Mr. Jordan Schneider, or FWE fans at all. And I have no problem doing the right thing, and uh, Mr. Jordan Schneider. Oh, there we go. Gave me the opportunity to be in the ring tonight to talk to everybody, and I appreciate that. And Jordan, uh, you're, you're a good man for doing that, and I do want to extend a formal apology to you. There it is. Uh, for, you know, making a mess out of your show. I felt it was fun. I'm like a pig in dirt. I love making a mess, but 
there wasn't the right way to go about it. And I do apologize to you. You're going to applaud that. No. I'll nod because I'm required to. But I don't applaud it. And I just want to lesson. A grown man just gave you a half dollar apology, Jordan. You don't accept it? He's going to go to jail otherwise. It was never my intention to put him in harm's way at all. So. Okay, wow, that was actually not, not as hard as I thought. But there's one more person that I do have to apologize to. And uh, I'm a man, and I'm going to do the right thing and accept responsibility for my actions. And I'd like to ask that man to come out, Damien Darling. Whoa. Oh, wow. He's going to apologize to Damien Darling? Wait a minute. This is this is getting interesting. Now I'm glad he's here. He is going to apologize to Damien Darling? Here's Damien Darling. Uh, a championship strap. Oh, yeah. And quite a robe, I will say. Wait a minute. What is it? Who? That's not Sonny. Last I checked, that's not Sonny. Damien Darling, since winning that championship, has really pimped himself up something nice. So, uh, it any... Might, it might be just sunny, maybe she's cool. Yeah. Any bitterness there towards Damien it's after that smooch you guys shared at the Big Kibosh? Actually, I was glad she took him off my hands. <laughs> that was uh, less than underwhelming. Listen, bedroom secrets coming out here. Less than underwhelming. Ouch. Anyways, I don't like to linger on the. I like to move forward <laughs> into the pastures. There's plenty Indeed. of other fish in the She thinks she can out blonde me. Voice, I know you're loving the tassel shades of your favorite wrestler ever, Damn. the Ultimate Warrior. Oh. <laughs> You not go there, Jordan, and you'll be apologizing to me. <laughs> Two-time Swagger Champion, the Final Reaper, Damien Darling! And someone. Damien Darling's valet has a balcony you can do Shakespeare off. Look at the size of that. I'm going to sue I heard your apology. You guys have my eyes out with those shoes. And, uh, anyway, I understand the situation. I understand the frustration. It's got to suck to lose. <laughs> but, uh, if you're here because you want a job and to get that job, you got to apologize to me and shake your hand. Brother, I am a man that will keep another hard-working individual out of work. Wow. So go ahead, brother. Wow, uh, fair call there from Damien. That's right. Wow, Damien actually right. Right. fighting him back to FWE. Here. Brother, shake my hand. No problem. Oh, oh Darling just clocked him. Ow. That was a heavy shot, and Darling just attacking Johnny Knockout here. Oh, Knockout returns a favor. Big right hand. Security's in there to separate them. But Johnny Knockout was almost knocked out cold. Security having to restrain these two. Damien Darling. Oh, here comes Knockout. Trying to leap over security. Whoa. Knockout is rabid. Damien wow. Darling caught him. Whoa. Wow. Pandemonium. He blasted him with that microphone. That was one of the hardest shots I've ever seen with a microphone. That was crazy. Wow, that was insane. It looked like, we have a look again here on the replay, it looked like Knockout was out cold. Then when he's hit in the canvas, he regained consciousness and bailed it up. That was his heavy shot. Uh, huh? Who is she? Her shoes are made by demolition. Oh! Look out again out of nowhere! Oh, darling, getting off some good right hands here. Both men training and security just restraining Johnny Knockout. Knockout not happy. Oh, now oh, Damien Darling going over the top and he catches him with two right hands. Three in a row from We darling. have like six guys in the ring. You're telling me they can't pull him apart? We, have, we do have the worst security in FWE. You know that. It's really ridiculous. <laughs> I would advise the female to get out much sooner. Yes. Get a broken angle uh, and studded heels she has on. Wow. Get him out of here. There's a bruise on the get forehead of Johnny the Knockout. Is he bleeding? He may be bleeding from that shot earlier. That was a vicious crack with a microphone that started it all. 
after Damien Darling seemed to offer the olive branch, and here goes knockout again. Hey, security, thank you, finally. After Darling seemed to offer the olive branch, the handshake of brothership, God, it was a cheap shot by Darling. Well, let's let's. What was it deserved though? Did no. knockout deserve I mean, that? Don't get me wrong. Did I smile? Yes. Did I like to see it? Yes. But did he deserve that? No. And I am the least Johnny Knockout fan that you could possibly be. I, Jordan, I personally you, hate him. You've seen a lot of shots over the years. Was that one of the hardest cheap shots you've seen? Those guys don't like each other. There's no denying it. Wow. Bad blood just, just boiling AJ. over here. Wow. Okay. Finally, they're going to get Johnny Knockout out of the arena here. Just bad blood. This audience still gobsmacked at what just went down here. Let's go up to AJ Pan to bring up our next contest. 